all right guys welcome back and in this video we're gonna add redux to our ionic application with react so as your app size grows it becomes kind of important to have a data flow in a linear way and you know data should be centralized um, so that you don't just blow your heads off while you're creating some sort of async dispatch action or anything like that so for that redux really comes really really handy Right, so it's set up is a little bit tricky, but once you get to set it up, it's it's really straightforward. So we're gonna follow the official docs pretty simply because we are using React. We can use the React bindings for us, right? So I'm gonna make use of uh, the React Redux and make sure this is safe. So once you do that, you're gonna see that React Redux actually provides you with a provider component which we can wrap in our app real quick. So I'm gonna go into index.dsx, not really index.dsx, but inside app. And right here, or actually index.dsx would work just fine. So I'm gonna wrap this inside the provider component from Redux, right? So we're gonna import this, uh, import provider from React Redux, right? And let's see what's the problem so we do not have types for this let's just install the types as well no problem so once we do that we're gonna see that we have a bunch of information like this so now we're gonna get finally uh, the store and how do we set up a store well we can just follow the um, official docs on that and you can see as it says that we actually need to install redux as well so for that, what you need to do is just simply say npm install Redux and just save it, right? So once you have that, you're gonna bring in a store right here and you're gonna get a store from the store file. So how do we get a store now? Well, we can get a store pretty simply by just actually following a bunch of documentations again and we're gonna just skip all of this thing and we're gonna uh, let's see so we're gonna make use of this code right here but we're gonna trim it down really really by a lot so let's just go ahead and create a file called store.ts and I'm gonna paste this right here and what I'm gonna do is get rid of this 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 and yeah that's pretty much it so I'm gonna get rid of this 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 and this and this should be just an empty object and this should be nothing right so this is our uh, configure store method so i'm going to bring in the configure store method right here and i'm going to call this right so you can see that it basically is the default method so we can just do something like this and now we need to bring in reducers and we actually don't need this as well so what a reducer is basically is that it is a bunch of functions which actually reduces your state to a particular value. That is why it is called a reducer, right? So in a nutshell, it basically allows you to um, modify your state. So I'm going to say this is a reducer and I'm going to say that it accepts a type and an action. And I'm going to export this and this would be of type string or not really action but actually action and payload right so this would have an action of type string and a payload of any right so once we have that in place what we really want is some sort of stuff in here so what we want is a root reducer to have this as a default export and yeah for the reason for this error is basically because in reducers the first argument is actually state and not the action type so we can have type and payload like this right so i just got there a little bit of uh there for myself and I can work with state now and actually just to avoid TypeScript to complain uh, we can just pretty much go ahead and prefix this with any so it stops complaining but yeah 
this should work just fine, right? So yeah, in fact, it's so short that I think we can just completely get rid of this file itself and uh, just go into index.tsx and right here we would be able to do what we are doing right now, right? So I can have my reducer imported as well. So there we are. Now we can just specify the store and we are good to go. So what I want to do now is just create uh, this as a Redux and no, not really. I'm going to do it myself. This is reducer.ts. Let's just hope we just need one reducer at the moment and reducer and we're going to have some actions as well. So we're going to create some actions.ts as well, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a bunch of actions. For example, when we log in, we want to say, we want to set the state of user. So I'm going to say set user state, uh, which would be obviously be a function. Uh, so this would be something like payload and this would just return us with an action of, you know, type set user state and payload just like that right and we can just make it any for now so we're gonna dispatch these actions right here and we're gonna get, grab them right here with the switch type and i'm gonna say that case set user state if that is the case then i want to return the new state with me right and this should be an object instead of like an array but yeah so if this is the new state i want the user data to be payload right so something like this and initially i just want to return the state itself so yeah that's pretty much how you're going to set up a basic redux example and uh, yeah that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video